All right, all right. Praise the Lord for so much. Hope everybody's still doing well. I'm going to dive right into this video. For many are called, but few are chosen. For many are called, but few are chosen. This is another scripture that's very misunderstood and taught kind of backwards in so many ways. I did an old video about this, and I want to come back and kind of update it and go a little deeper with tying it in with being saved. If you looked at the video I just did about the days of Noah, and we was talking about how only eight only eight people were saved, you know, you know the story. And I want to compare this with that also. Now, when you go to the book of Matthew, chapter 20, verse 16 says, So the last shall be first, and the first last. For many be called, but few are chosen. And then Matthew 22 and 14 says, For many are called, but few are chosen. So a lot of people only want to tie this in with who God have called to preach. You know, who's doing this, who's doing that. But we have to really catch what Jesus is saying in this. Because many people that I know and, and big time preachers, they will say that few are saved in comparison to all the people that lived and have lived. But if you look closely at this scripture, let's just focus on it and we're going to go through it slow. And I'm not going to be in this video long at all. Now look at Jesus and what he was really saying. Now, you see that Jesus is talking about those who profess to be in the faith. He said that out of the called ones, only few are chosen out of the called ones. So those who are called are the people that, that profess to be Christians and follow Jesus. And yet he is saying that only a few of these will actually be saved. Now I know that might be hard for some people to kind of understand that, but you have to look at that very closely because those who profess to be in the faith, he said that out of the called ones, it's a few of them going to be chosen. Those called people are those who claim to be Christians, following Jesus. So he said there's only a few of them will actually be saved. Did you see that in that scripture? Did you catch that? Notice Jesus didn't say that only few out of all people will be saved. He said, but only a few out of the called people. Mm. Why would he say only a few? Well, he came back and, well, if you back back up in Matthew 7, he explained it also because he talked about the straight gate and the wide is the gate. He said, enter ye in at the straight gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way. That lead it were not to heaven, that lead it to destruction. He said, and when he talked about the straight gate, he said, narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. He was talking about heaven. He was saying, hard is the way to get to heaven. Few was going to be in that. So most people who claim to be Christians are headed toward destruction. Why? Because of religion, tradition, following man and not following Christ. A lot of them living a, a worldly life still and trying to make it to heaven. And when you look at that scripture, that's why he said, for many are called, but few are chosen. He was saying in those few, <laughs> those, a few of those would actually be saved. Those who were called, people who claim to be Christians. He also said in Matthew 7, a lot of people that was going to be saying, Lord, Lord, then we're not prophesying our name, cast our demons our name. He's going to say, depart from me. Ye work iniquity. I never knew you. He's saying, I never knew who you are. That let you know it's a lot of people doing things. They claiming to be prophets and preachers and teachers and evangelists and so on and so on. And they're going to be getting a great rude awakening on that day. So when you look at that scripture now, look at it a little different when it says, for many are called, but few are chosen. And that's why I said, I'm going to say this one more time before I end the video. If you really caught what Jesus was saying, he was saying that he was talking about those who profess to be in the faith. He said out of the called ones, only a few out of the called was going to be chosen. Those called people are the ones who claim to be Christians and following Jesus. He is saying that only a few of them actually are the ones that's going to be saved. And he backed it up and, and talking about 
the, the straight is the gate. The narrow is the way. So when you look at the, the gates, you don't want to be in that wide gate. That's the destruction. Those people really in that gate believe that they're on their way and they really believe they can get you in to heaven because they think because they've been going to church and doing all these great things, but they are far from God and they're on their way to destruction. This is why it's so hard to get into heaven. This is the part that preachers don't even want to talk about. Why do you think so many preachers are falling? So many Christians are falling, period. Because hard is the way. I leave you with that. God bless you.